we realize that the key to achieve energy and resource conservation lie in solving the energy puzzle. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas that acts as a blanket surrounding the earth. This blanket prevents the sun's heat from escaping into space, keeping the earth warm. But when we release more greenhouse gases into our atmosphere, the earth gets even hotter, leading to global warming and climate change. Let us now take a look at the sources of carbon dioxide. They are 1. Power The production of power uses coal, hydro plants or biofuel which releases high amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. 2. Fuel There are over 8.5 crore vehicles in India, most of which burn petrol or fuel thus releasing CO2. 3. Water Supplying water whether by pumping it up from below the ground or transporting it in tankers, requires energy. Producing this energy releases CO2. 4. Waste Producing, packaging, transporting and disposing of products consumes energy. This energy consumption can be reduced if we reduce, reuse and recycle. And 5. Trees the more trees we plant, the more CO2 the trees will absorb from the atmosphere. These five sources form the energy puzzle. When we save fuel, we contribute towards reducing pollution and by saving electricity, we help in conserving our natural resources. When we save water, we play a part in protecting the country's water bodies. And when we manage waste, we help build a cleaner India. When we plant more trees, we help in protecting and increasing green cover. The golden rules of energy and resource conservation are handy in the exercise. Thus, appliances should always be switched off from the plug point. Only CFL and BEE 5 star rated appliances should be preferred. Use of electric appliances should be minimized. Water should be recycled and water consumption reduced to the extent possible. Waste should be managed intelligently and more trees should be planted. Efficient travel should be encouraged. Cooking should be carried out, keeping hygiene in mind and food should be eaten when it's hot. To save fuel, car engines should be switched off at signals. While energy conservation initiatives are good, it is equally important to show moral and civic values to build a better India. It is a sad state of affairs to see our nation plagued with traffic, litter, poverty, child labor, child exploitation, pollution, deforestation, corruption, extortion and waste of resources. We can turn around things by being the change we want to see, abstaining from bad habits, doing the right thing, staying safe and making our environment safe, being honest, courteous and responsible citizens, standing up against gender bias, corruption and most importantly keeping the city clean and green. Energy conservation and moral values can help prevent natural disasters in the long run but it will take thorough preparedness to prevent them in the short run. Did you know 2000 to 2010 saw 3496 natural disasters from floods, storms, droughts and heat waves. That is nearly five times as many disasters as the 743 catastrophes reported during the 1970s. We should follow some rules to ensure safety during a disaster. We should not panic or cause others to panic. Stay calm and listen to instructions. Follow practiced evacuation routes. Not push and scream when moving to a safer area and take care of those who need our help like babies, the elderly and the injured. The handbook has details on specific ways of preventing and managing disasters like floods, storms, droughts and heat waves. It is also necessary to engage with local bodies and community organizations for spreading awareness and creating active citizens. As an active citizen, you should be vigilant and active in the community report and prevent issues such as emergencies, child labor, non-functional street lights, fallen electrical poles, walls or trees, water or gas leakages and overflowing local garbage bins. 
a strong engagement with local bodies and community organizations is necessary for a positive change. Here's how you can get in touch with local bodies and community organizations. While addressing any issue, first ensure your own safety. Then call the relevant authority under an adult's guidance. Make sure you are prepared to answer basic questions such as the issue, where it has been noticed, and whether any other authority has been informed about the same. Refer to useful guides to get in touch with relevant authorities. There are contact numbers for emergency, police control room, women's helpline, medical helpline, ambulance helpline, fire service, and All India Radio helpline. The handbook provides necessary local emergency numbers. As an active citizen, you also should involve yourself with various national missions such as Ujjwal Bharat, an initiative to illuminate every Indian's life. Saksham, a campaign to promote conservation and efficient use of petroleum products. National Water Mission, an initiative for water conservation and equitable distribution of water. Swachh Bharat, a cleanliness drive. National Mission for Green India, an initiative to address issue of climate change. This year, as active citizens, we will focus on saving electricity towards an Ujjwal Bharat. Ujjwal Bharat is aimed at realizing the vision of 24 by 7 power for all through various measures including rural electrification, promoting sustainable energy resources and efficient use of power. As an active citizen, you can contribute to this national mission by using power efficiently, preventing wastage of electricity and promoting energy conservation in your school, home and community. Here is a project to have you involved in Ujjwal Bharat. Create a one-page report to highlight efforts you have taken in engaging with local bodies, society secretary, community organizations to prevent wastage of electricity and impact and share with Tata Power Club Energy. In addition, you should measure your home electricity usage by referring to electricity bills and demonstrate how you have saved power. As proof, submit these to Tata Power Club Energy. Let us have a look at some examples of an active citizen at work. Radha, on noticing that lights in her parking building were kept on till as late as 10 a.m., registered a complaint under her mother's guidance with the building committee to report electricity wastage. Her efforts paid off when after two days, lights started being turned off at sunrise. Arjun acted like an active citizen on noticing a damaged electrical pole by calling up Brihan Mumbai Electric Supply and Transport Undertaking. In some time, the pole was fixed. Arjun managed to prevent untoward incidents thanks to his concern for the environment.